Francis Chan unpacks why so many Christians get it wrong when it comes to the Bible. Can't wait to show you guys this clip. This is something we talk about on the channel a whole lot. And it's something that most people, unfortunately, don't think through when we're discussing theology, which just means the study of God. When we're discussing scripture, when we're discussing Bible, when we're discussing denominational differences, so many people miss it. And Francis Chan completely knocks it out of the park on this. Now, recently, he was on Live Action's podcast it's by ran by a lady named i think her name is layla is that how you say her name um i think so yeah yeah layla um who's awesome she's a huge pro-life activist she's gone in the lion's den uh she's been on i think like dr phil uh she, layla, layla rose she's she's really been willing to debate anybody anywhere on on the pro-life issue which is again 100 percent uh props to her for that and so um francis chan went on her podcast and they had an amazing conversation and so i but i wanted to highlight this one specific part because i think it is so relevant and so applicable to so many of us today Go ahead. to believe that a thousand years later and all those guys and their collective wisdom and all those people that were so close to the time of jesus and his teaching they're all off because you know i went to seminary mm. and i got the, the highest brand of bible software and i was in my office for years you know so what he's breaking down is the reality that so many christians followers of Jesus, across all denominations, basically read just the Bible and have zero desire to look at church history, to look at how we got our scriptures, to look at the textual criticism process, to, to look at what did the church fathers believe. They just ignore it all and jump out the window and say, well, you know, God told me that it's X, Y, and Z. And that's very dangerous. Because as he unpacks this next thought, you, you, you'll you see what happens, why there's such a spike in, in so many of these, they're not even denominations, progressive Christianity, liberal, hyper-liberal Christianity, right? Go ahead. No, studying this, and I've got it. There's an arrogance to that. Mm -hmm. And so we have to attach ourselves to these ancient truths. Yep. And we have to question, question like, wait, so civilization human they believed all these things for six thousand years and now we in this generation are going to change all of the rules that's uh, that, that sound familiar <laughs> that sound familiar we're just going to throw out the orthodox view on everything <laughs> throw it all out and then we're going to basically say we know better we know better than Thousands of years of church history, thousands of years of church fathers, thousands of years of all of these different things. We're just going to throw it all out and we're really just going to build our house on what God told me and theology that was developed within the last 100 and 150 years. And that makes sense to us? Like, I'm just challenging my kids to think that through and go, look, mom and dad, I was handed this 40 years ago. Amen. And I've studied it. Every day. Pause it. Love. I love how beat up his Bible looks. Oh yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I wish my Bible looked that beat they up. They gotta make they gotta make uh maybe we gotta make a distressed Bible brand. No, man. For you, that gotta, you gotta earn a distressed no, Bible. No, 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 man. Like like Kanye. Like Kanye had the Yeezy holes and all the shirts and bro. We gotta have distressed Bibles so the new Christians can gotta kind of feel in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So. I've been in communion with this God for 40 years and I'm now passing this off to you. Amen. It's like a baton. It's like, Amen. this has been passed down for 6,000 years, came to me. I've held it for 40 years and I'm going to hold it till I die. You know, but it's it's your turn mm -hmm. and you've got to decide, are you going to continue in this tradition mm -hmm. or are you going to believe your friend mm -hmm. or that this generation is the one that finally figured out that everyone was wrong for all of human history? I said, that's a W take, man. Um, I, I don't care if they all say something. I'm not going to bet on this generation. I'm not going to bet on your friend. Ha! I'm going to. I'm not going to bet on your friend. I'm not going to bet on some things that you read and you think God told you. I'm not going to bet on a theology that's 50 years old, 100 years old. No. What are we doing? What are we talking about? And a lot of this stuff that we're looking at, uh, whether it's the 
a lot of the modern views on like the rapture, a lot of the modern views on sex ethic, a lot of the, these are very modern beliefs. These are very modern beliefs. And so I think, I think Francis Chan is a hundred percent right because a lot of times what this is, is this is anchored on a way of thinking that says the wool has been pulled over your eyes. All of church history is corrupt. Church fathers didn't know what they were talking about. Uh, no one knew what they were talking about. And, and everyone's wrong except me and my little tribe and my little denomination. We have all the answers. That sounds very goofy to me. I'm going to bet on this body. It's of tradition. Yeah. Uh, I, I love Francis Chan talking about this. I think we desperately need to look more at church history. We desperately need to be thinking about these things. Uh, what were the early early creeds? Why did they say these things, right? What, what happened through this phase of church history? What happened uh, uh, what led to the Reformation? What 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 are these? What who are these church fathers? Who's Charles Spurgeon? Like who is Martin Luther? Who is Augustine? Who is Ignatius? Right? Like all of these things are super helpful. And if we're just thinking that yo, I'm just gonna read this and God's gonna tell me everything and I'm gonna have all the like, that's dangerous. Like you're basically what you're saying is you're a lone range Christian. You are Rambo in the in in the in the woods in the jungles by yourself, and you don't want no community. You don't want no counsel. You don't want no mentorship. You don't want no no church fathers. You don't want nothing but what you think you got on your own, and uh, that's that's not helpful. And so I would I would encourage you guys go in and just get a rudimentary view of church history. Look at the things that they've believed about eschatology throughout history yes there's been some disagreement but it, it a lot of the stuff we have now very modern it's a lot of modern stuff that we speak as if it's absolute and it's dogma and folks have not believed it for two thousand years of church history what's one of the most obnoxious things that you've seen come up from the lack of uh, church history understanding i think the trinity is one i think like the idea that uh constantine finessed everyone into the right like i think that's just one the canon of scripture was already there two uh the trinity was already established they were already worshiping as jesus hundreds of years before uh the council of nicaea so that that that's an mm. easy one like yeah the, 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 the idea that the trinity was something that was forced on the church there was this you know really this Irenaeus was really right and so i think that's a that's a huge one like the trinity yeah. is just it's so embedded in, in just a basic reading of scripture. Yes, the word Trinity is not in there, but I think that's an easy one. So what matters is the essentials. Amen, 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 amen. So anyway, uh, shout out to Francis Chan. Shout out to, I, I hope I'm saying your name right, Leela. Leila? Lila. Lila. I don't know. Lila. If we do both, then at least one part. Yeah, one of those right. has to be right, right? If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And consider partnering with us in our online community for as little as $5 a month. Get access to these daily after-party streams completely unedited. Get access to our podcasts before they come out. And keep us brand-free, independent, and only answering to you so we never have to make goofy commercials like these. Our friends at GenuCell Skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023. Using Manscaped during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence. And that's where mud water comes in. True Classic has got your pack. All thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SayMine.com. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of Laird or Lady. Object credit approval rates range from 7.99% APR to 19.99% APR, including 0.50% auto pay discount. If you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about sign up for our online community for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss you get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams exclusive access to our discord community and early access to our podcast interviews all starting for only five dollars a month king stream entertainment Bruce lawn